guys! My name is Cassidy LaCreme and today I'm showing you guys how to do these faux boxer braids. That's right, so you don't actually need to be able to braid to get this look. I'll show you how to do it with a trick. And if you happen to have really short hair like me, I'll show you my insider tips on how to get long hair like this using a wig. <laughs> Okay, so this hairstyle is actually quite simple. It just takes a few minutes to learn the technique, seeing we're not actually braiding, but once you get that, you can do it almost without a mirror. I don't spend too much time getting it too perfect. There are ways that I'll point out the end to make it look thicker and fuller and plump it out, but this is definitely one style I have fallen in love with. Super quick, super easy, super effective, and hopefully you guys like it. So for this look, I'm actually using a lace front wig behind my hairline. I just got this wig on AliExpress. It is a human hair wig. You could use a synthetic wig, but most importantly, the color of your wig has to be the color of your hairline. So if I take out my scarf, you can see it still has that natural look. As you can see, I have very short hair. Now you can actually do this hairstyle obviously with your own hair, even if you have short hair, even if you just wanna do it, you know, to say about here and have little pigtails at the bottom, also a possibility. But I just love this long boxer faux braid. But basically I'm just trying to demonstrate the technique to you and then you can be as creative as you wish. For this tutorial, you are going to need, if you have short hair and you want long hair, some kind of wig that matches your hair that you're gonna pull from your hairline. So it has to blend nicely. So I have my lace front wig. This one has seen better days, but for this style, it's perfect. If you decide to use a lace front wig as well, I would suggest doing up the clips nice and tight because it's gonna be sitting behind your hairline. Then I quickly just section out the very front, just one inch or less. And just pin it back and make sure if you have little short hairs to pin those up because they're what are most likely to poke through the bottom at the end and give away your secret. <laughs> if you're using a wig you will need a few bobby pins to secure the wig. Get a couple of these nice large sectioning clips to help you with your styling and then a bunch of these clear elastics. Um, if you have dark hair you can obviously use dark elastics too but blonde hair definitely get your clear all right, so part your natural hair in the center. Take your wig, align your hairline with the center part of the wig. There we go. So we want it to be closer to the hairline. The further back, the more obvious it's gonna be. Take a couple of pins and secure it down. Now we are ready to get started. You're just gonna use your comb to section it into two sides straight down the center and then you just want to section off one side we want to start by grabbing our top section here now as this is your front section and you want that wig to be hidden just a little tease at the front is going to give you that extra blending room now you're going to take your first section it's about an inch or two wide and secure it with your clear elastic now we immediately want to take the section behind that if you need a little extra coverage, just give it a little tease. And with another clear elastic, you're gonna make that ponytail right behind our first section. All right, so you've got two ponytails now. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna split this bottom ponytail in half. Once you get the idea of this, it's really quick. Split this ponytail in half, sit it over here and pull your first one through. Now taking your sectioning clip, holding that piece down so you've got just your top ponytail hanging through. We're just gonna take our next section below. Ah! So now that we've made our next section, pulling in the hair from that top section and then making another ponytail. And then we're just gonna repeat this. Take your new section, split it in half, let go of this top section. So that's your top section now. Put it through here, through the ponytail you've just made and split in half, pin it down, and this is released down to join our next section. And we're just 
gonna repeat this section by section until we reach the bottom of the neck. Making that ponytail, split it in half, taking our top section through the middle. So now we're onto our final section at the bottom. Then you'll have your ponytail and your last section. See how this has created a braid? But there's an extra step after this to make it look even better and more real. So let's get to the same stage on this side, nice and quick, up to the same point, and then I'll show you how to finish it off and really make it look nice and even and full. Because right now it's looking really flat. Okay, so now we're at the same stage on each side. We've got our final ponytail with our two strands left on both sides. See, so yeah, our hairline is blending nicely. So now what you're gonna do, instead of just taking the three sections and plaiting them, if we just plait them like that, you're gonna see a tie at the bottom. And generally this one layer will be much thicker. So what I do before I start to braid them is I just take a little bit into each section and then I start my black from there. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then tie it off at the bottom. And I'll just finish the other side and show you how to make them look even fuller, more powerful, pronounced. Same thing on this side. All right, so see, they look pretty good already, but the way to make them look even better is pull slightly on each section. So I'm gonna lift it and fan it out. See that difference? So that's fanned out versus not fanned. Now another option on how to style it, I'll add a gold chain, take a hair scarf from below. So you can add a scarf to cover the hairline more or to just give it a bit of an edge, a bit of a dressed up look. I matched it with a leopard print bathing suit for a pool party recently. Throw on a rocking pair of shades like these Oracle glasses from my website, www.castillacreme.com. We ship worldwide, hashtag James Club. And for sure, you will be wearing one unforgettable outfit. And that's like seriously gonna finish off the style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you guys wanna see, any other styles you want me to recreate. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere at Cassidy Lacrim, and on TikTok, Cassidy underscore Lacrim. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.